Hi, I'm going to show you how you can upload fixed asset records into JD Edwards Enterprise ONE directly using our product, Alias Links Office. Links Office is a component of Alias Links Business Integrator, an Oracle validated integration product. Here is the fixed asset upload template. You can see that it has additional commands to validate, navigate, and upload fixed asset data. This template has two sheets one to enter and upload fixed asset records, and the other contains validation data. The validation sheet contains the list of companies and all UDC codes that pertain to fixed asset records. The data in the validation sheet can be quickly refreshed from your Enterprise ONE system by clicking the Refresh button. The upload sheet allows you to create and change fixed asset records without additional steps such as Z files. Fields that have code values now have drop downs populated with the data from the validation sheet. The spreadsheet also has lookups that allow you to look up data that is not in the validation sheet. This is the GL account lookup. It allows you to find accounts by company, business unit, object account, subsidiary, description, and postcode. Some of these fields allow you to search using multiple values, ranges, and wildcards. For example, I can search for accounts that have an object account range between 1000 and 2000, and specific object accounts 2060 and 2500. The description field allows you to specify multiple values with wildcards. This feature allows me to find data without having to flip back and forth between Excel and Enterprise ONE. I can also add attachments by simply dragging and dropping the files into the attachments form. Here's a great feature where I can specify the beginning balances for the fixed asset. I am now uploading these six records to Enterprise ONE. As you can see, the Asset ID field is now populated with the fixed asset number assigned by Enterprise ONE. You can click on the link in Excel and it takes you directly to the fixed asset record in Enterprise ONE. You can see that the beginning balances have been updated on this fixed asset record. The attachments have been uploaded as well. Upon reviewing the record, I see I made a mistake. I entered the wrong value, 30, and category code 1 for four of the six records. Without this template, changing multiple master records within an application can be cumbersome. But look how easily we can do that using the spreadsheet. Click the Change Mode button. This removes the data in the spreadsheet. Now I can load the records that I want to change. In this form, I can search for records by asset number, unit number, serial number, description, parent number, and category code. I am now loading records by asset number range, which have category 01 set to 30. 
I can easily remove the rows that I don't want to change by selecting them and clicking Delete Rows. Now I can quickly change the category value 30 to the correct value 60. I am now uploading these changes back to Enterprise One. As you can see, the data has been changed in Enterprise One. As with all alias integration products, all Enterprise One business rules and security are strictly adhered to. If any errors are encountered, they are passed back from Enterprise One to the spreadsheet. For more information, please visit our website, www.alias, that's A-E-L-L-I-U-S, dot com forward slash products. Thank you for your time.